Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to give you a quick look at the travel inserts that I just customized for the trip that I am taking coming up this weekend. Today is Wednesday, April 18th. So let me flip back to my travel section. So every year my husband and I go to Viva Las Vegas, which is a rockabilly weekend. It's a music festival, there's dancing, it's a, quite a bit of fun. Usually it runs Wednesday to Sunday. We're going in a little bit late just because we have some stuff to do and vacation time and all that jazz. Mostly because we didn't have any vacation time left over from when we went on our trip earlier this year. So we cut it a little bit short, but I wanted to show you kind of how I've customized my normal travel inserts for this event. And because we do go every single year, it made sense for me to actually go and modify these to fit the actual event itself. Now, some of this I got as an idea from a vintage vanity here on YouTube. She actually was keeping a notebook and she was handwriting all of these, but then I'm looking at her, her notebook thinking, actually, I have a lot of that stuff already. So all I need to do is just add a few things and change them out. So I moved the depart and return dates to the front. Same thing with our lodging information, which I'm not going to fill in. You guys don't need to know where we're staying at the moment. I'll fill that in a little bit later. So I left the packing list here. I left all the basics. Um, in this instance, I just crossed through the things I knew I wouldn't need. I left the casual and formal section. What I took out were the business and international, because this is not an international trip ever. So I did add in a few things that I know I would need vintage wear wise underneath the formal section just kind of at the bottom. I did leave this page as a blank grid so I could still use that. I left my pre-trip checklist the same as it was. So this is what changed. I drew lines through these just because I know we're not going to be there Wednesday and Thursday. But what I have on the left side is the date, what the weather is going to be, how many outfits I need, casual, formal, and other, and then the events that we want to do that day. So the events that we want to do determines basically what I'm going to wear. Now, because this is, at least for the women, sometimes also for the men, it's a very fashion-centered sort of a thing. So I'm not normally like high maintenance, change outfits four times a day type of a person. However, some of these I've sewn myself. Some of them are actual vintage pieces that I own. So it's kind of a chance to show them off because it's not something I get to wear every single day. So yes, I will be changing clothes at least twice a day. So I have a spot for daytime outfit outfit, the different things that usually go along with it, and an evening outfit. So what I am doing, let me flip to a day. So for example, Friday is when we're driving in. So I have the date, I have what the weather is going to be. It's supposed to be windy. Yay. <laughs> it's always super windy in Vegas when we're there and it destroys hairstyles like nobody's business. Um, I don't know what time we're getting in. I do know they're doing a fashion show at two, which I wouldn't mind going to. So we may try and leave early enough to catch that. And there's a couple of things late at night. So I have what I'm planning to wear while we're driving, which is kind of vintage inspired. I wouldn't say it's actual vintage. And then I have an evening outfit fit. Now, there's unofficial themes for Viva, and depending on who you ask, you'll get different answers, but usually the people that I go with Friday evening, they usually do, they call them Mexican skirts. Usually they have some sort of Hispanic, Mexican, Incan print to them. They were big in the 50s. A lot of times they'll have sequins, that sort of thing. So I made one that has kind of a um, ethnic print to it that's just a big circle skirt, so that's what I'm planning on wearing on Friday. Saturday, I have the list of things that I'm interested in doing. Most of it's going to be at the car show. The car show is outside. It's on asphalt. It's very hot always. It doesn't matter what the temperature actually is. So it says 86. It's going to feel like it's 95 out there. So you kind of have to pace yourself. But for the car show, I'm going to wear, I have a navy circle skirt that has anchors embroidered on it. So I'm going to wear that, some red shoes, red accessories, and a white top. And then in the evening, I actually have an oriental print dress, turquoise. It's probably from early 60s that I haven't had a chance to wear. And provided my shoes show up on time, I have a pair of gold heels that I ordered. Not super expensive, but they're vintage looking, vintage inspired. I just didn't have anything that really went with the dress otherwise. All right, so Sunday, not as much going on that I was super interested in. It's fine, we'll drift in and out of rooms. The Hillbilly Fest and the Hotshot Drifters are late that evening, so we'll go to those. During the day, they usually have a pool party. The pool party runs both Saturday and Sunday now, but usually during the day, people are wearing kind of a tiki-themed sort of an outfit. So I have a red sarong dress that I bought a few years ago that I absolutely love, so I'm going to wear that. And then Sunday, the unofficial thing is to wear black because everybody's sad that the weekend is over. 
So I have a black vintage dress that has almost like a cutout to it that is in the shape of flowers. So I'll wear black shoes with that. Monday we're driving home, so it's going to be casual. I'll probably actually just end up wearing like jeans and a, some sort of a t-shirt. Just because when we get home, I'm going to have to kind of re-enter straight into real life, do grocery shopping and stuff like that to get ready for the week. So that's how I have these set up. Just because it is something very fashion heavy and very band and music and event heavy. So I have information about the day, what we want to do. I made a note, breakfast, lunch, and dinner on each of the days. I may go back and add that some other time. That's mainly for me because I am trying to eat healthy right now. So I can kind of plan out what food do I need to either bring or buy when we get there, just so I'm kind of staying on healthy eating as much as possible so I don't travel backwards too far. All right, so after that, then I have the post-trip checklist. This is the same as what it was before. Then I just have a couple of blank grid pages. I did have an expenses page in the back. I took that out. In here in the middle, it was actually just shorter half pages for each day that was just basically like where you were staying. It had a spot for expenses, what you were doing that day, and that's pretty much it. So I just made it almost a two page per day travel insert. So anyway, I thought I would give you a peek. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing how I am planning and getting ready to pack for Viva Las Vegas. We are going fewer days than normal this year. So I was mentioning to my husband earlier, it's a little strange because I feel like I should be bringing more clothes and I'm not. And it occurs to me it's because really and truly we're only there for like three days where I'm actually going to be wearing anything vintage or vintage inspired. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're actually interested in these inserts, I don't know how many of you that watch my channel do anything like this because there's a bunch of other events around the country that are similar. Nashville Boogies over in Nashville. There's a few others in California and there's ones like internationally as well. So if you're interested, I can actually put these into my Etsy shop that I'm trying to put together. I'm already planning on putting in the other travel inserts that I made and probably the, some version of the dailies that I use. But if you're interested in these, let me know and I will be happy to, to put those out there for people who would like to use them. Anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know. Comments, please put those in the comments down below. Video suggestions. I'm always interested to hear what you guys are interested in seeing. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!